The Muse are gone. 1914. I have no idea if that's how you say that, but hey, here we are. Chat, buckle up. We're in for a ride. It's about to get heavy. This is my artist spotlight of the month because I thought Chuck would really like it. And them. that is a damn Grim Reaper. It is a damn Grim Reaper. Kind of a dope ass album cover, honestly. It really is. Um, shall we jump in? Absolutely. Let's send it.
get to ratings first on this one, too. Yeah. We're going to swap it up today. We're doing ratings first. This is what we're calling it. We're calling it Ryan B. Appre- appreciation. <clears throat> Go ahead, bud. I'll let you lead. Am I doing the two ratings again? If that's what you would like, yeah. yeah I would. So casual rating. <laughs> casual rating mm-hmm. is going to be a flat four. No playlist. <sighs> Experience rating mm-hmm. is going to be a 7.2. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with just a 7.8 here. And it's a, you definitely going in a playlist. That's fair. I really loved the instrumental here and they had some really unique things they were throwing at you. I love the part where they slowed everything down Mm -hmm. while I didn't enjoy, like it wasn't like something I really appreciated listening wise. What I appreciated about it was he was singing about shells that were being dropped on their own people, Mm -hmm. friendly fire. And the way everything slowed down and was kind of distorted kind of reminded me of a man like in, uh, you know, movies, books of like where they're just like wandering as shells hit around them. And they're like in this days of shell shock. Um, and they're like trying to comprehend. And that's what that reminded me of. So the whole slowdown part, I really appreciated that. Mm-hmm. And it kind of, uh, while it didn't sound maybe the best, it definitely added a nice like little uh, segue there. Yeah. So first and foremost, big thing for me is I'm not into the heavier side of music or especially those kind of vocal tones that were being used Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Um, That being said, I really enjoyed how we laid out this picture um, from the beginning. It's like, hey, I know what we're fighting for. We got this goal. We're going to accomplish this goal. We're going to go in here. We're going to fight. It kind of gets you that pumped up feel like, yeah, let's go into battle. Like, we're ready to go. I know what we're here for. Let's go get it. Yep. And then as the song goes on, it kind of just breaks it breaks down and it's like, oh, now your own people are killing you. Yep. It's like, I have no idea why I'm here anymore. The the whole like, am the I ho- here just to die? Yeah, yeah. He went in with a like conclusion that he knew what the war was for mm-hmm. and he was okay with fighting it. And then as things went progressed, you you realized, you know, what the fuck are we doing here? Uh, yeah. we're killing each other. We don't and, you know it's you know, the one thing that I will say that I really, really, really appreciate about this band mm-hmm. is they bring a lot of uh, value to just that whole human lives matter. You know, that whole shtick. Because when Anti-war. You look at, yeah, when you look at military, you look at war, they don't care. Yeah. There's a whole lot of, you're a pawn in a scheme. You play a role, and your your job is to go get it done. And if you die, you die. Mm-hmm. And that's a terrible way of thinking because you're just ignoring human life at that point. Yeah. That's the same kind of thinking that has kind of warped the world into the machine that it is nowadays where we're all out here and we're working day to day just trying to survive. And the people that sign our paychecks don't give a damn about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's and, this to an extreme. Yeah. Not only is it your employer, it's your fucking... This is your government. This is the guy that the top is like, hey, yeah. I'm right with sacrificing you. Go out there and get it done. Yeah, it's, this is literally... <laughs> you know? the, I mean, in war and in this, it's literally just looking and being like, hey, <laughs> if you die, you die. Yeah. Whereas, you know, being a cog in the machine of capitalism and everything else and going to work every day and just to survive and that kind of stuff. That's more of, they don't care for they're wasting all of our time and our lives Mm -hmm. there. They don't necessarily say we don't care if you die. Right. So there, there's where the big disconnect is, but I really like how this is all delivered with this band. It really makes you think of a little bit of everything. Yeah. And, And you could really take theirs is all about the war and they're, they're telling stories about the war and, how bad it is, but you could take that message and you could spin that into other things. And the way they put it out there is really, really good at doing stuff like that. And they really deep dive into the history of it. Like it's not just like a broad stroke that could be like any war. It's like a specific thing that they're talking about a specific time in a specific war that they're breaking Mm -hmm. down, but they're still connected all the way around. Like the, the idea here is like, for me, you know, war always starts off with like, normally it's pride. You would say, like people just a dick measuring contest. Mm-hmm. And then you start off with a, um, well, this, this is the goal. These mm-hmm. people are bad. 
and they're convinced of that. And then they go into this thinking it's like a very um, black and white. Yeah. And it's really not. Or a lot of it's reactionary too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And then things get really confusing. And I think a really good example of that is like the war in Iraq. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. And then we pulled out and people are pissed. And it's like, you were bitching that this was going on forever. Yep. And like, make up your guys' fucking mind. Will you, war, yeah, not worth the human life. So, um, but yeah, I really love that they, the, the breakdown, the lyrics here are fantastic. Like the writing and a, a lot of it shouldn't have flowed as well as it did. Like you're mm-hmm. like, he's reading off coordinates and shit. And you're like, how is this working in a song? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this they're, should not work. It is really solid how they do that stuff. Again, my biggest complaints when it comes to this or this style of music is that just the deliveries, just the vocal tones. I figured you wouldn't like it, the delivery, honestly, mm-hmm. of these, but I thought you might appreciate how warlike it does. A hundred percent. Like, the atmosphere that they build is just gnarly, dude. Mm-hmm. And, and I mean, big thing with that is, I mean, they really get you thinking. Mm-hmm. And I really like that. 100%, yeah. Because I do like to use my head every now and again. It feels good. Got to work that muscle out, baby. Got to work that muscle out. I don't use it enough. None of us do. So this is a good start. 